Hi everyone, this is Britt from Active911, and today I'm going to talk to you about setting up page group forwarding on your Active911 account. This feature was created with mutual aid responses in mind. It allows alerts to be forwarded from one page group to a page group in another agency. Only the details for each alert will be duplicated and sent to the destination page group. It does not allow users in the other agency to see your devices, map data, or any other agency information. That includes responses at this time. To set up page group forwarding, you're going to log in to the member access area on the Active 911 website. Once you have logged in, you're going to click on the Groups tab. In order to click on this tab, you must have the page group's permission. If you don't have that permission, talk to the admin on your department's account about gaining access to it. Now that I'm on the Groups tab of my account, I can see a list of all the page groups that I have set up. In this example, I want alerts that get sent to the group called Test1 to be forwarded on to a group called Test2 on my other agency. To do this, I'm going to click on the double arrow to the left of the group called Test1. This opens up a page group forwarding dialog box. At the top, it asks for the page group prefix. This is always two letters. In this example, it's FF. The next box asks me for the alert email address for the agency of the destination page group. I enter that in, and then I click Add. Now the name of the agency and the page group that I'm forwarding to shows up down below within that dialog box. If all this information is correct, you can click the X at the top of the dialog box and your page group forwarding has been set up for that group. If you want to double check, you can go ahead and click on the double arrow to the left of the group that you set up the page group forwarding for, and you will see your agency and page group there. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions or feedback, please email us at support at active911.com or comment below.